Welcome to Craig Baxo. Artist, musician, writer. When did that all start? I was, well, I think it started, I guess it started like late high school. It was just fun. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I thought, I don't know, it was just fun to me. And then um, I had a friend that I met in art class. And I didn't know he did beats. He made beats. And then um, another friend of mine who heard heard me rap, like, you know, playing around. I was like, oh, man, you're kind of dope. You should come hang out with us at a studio. And then we ended up going to the studio. And the studio was ran by the guy I was in art class with. So it was just like that was six degrees of separation kind of thing. And then I just, I dove in because originally it was like art. Like I wanted to just draw, sketch, paint. And then music was like another form of that art. And then I just kept going deeper and deeper. Then, like, when I was 21, um, we got lucky. And a guy we were working with who was playing manager for us submitted our music, and it got placed on Britney Spears. So that was kind of like, oh, man, you can really make money off of this. So, so like, was, wait. Like, well, obviously, pause. <laughs> so you write, a, you write a beat, you write a song, and it – somehow goes to her did you know that it was going to go to her it was her people yeah we didn't know it was really going to happen because like when you do music and people sell you dreams all the time right. you're like whatever you know it sounds good hey man we're going to sing your music to whatever and they're going to love it like i got a plug with this guy and that guy and you think oh, okay dope let's do it and a lot of times it never happens so for me it was just another one of those things but then when it actually happened they're like yo we're, we're flying you guys to la I'm like what? Like for real? We, we need you to sign this paperwork. What for real? And they were bliss, naive, we're green. You know, we signing papers and stuff like that. They tell us whatever they want to tell us to, you know, boost our spirits. And you know, music industry is interesting, but yeah, kids. We're kids doing music. And so, circa what year was that? Uh, what was that? Twenty. I'm thirty four now. Oh, so you're my, you're my, you, yeah. you, and you would be in high school together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It was, um, who was president? <laughs> yeah, like, damn. When did that come up? I have a plaque here on the wall, actually. Hold on. Yeah, show us. Let me go look. Let me go look. It doesn't have the year on it. Well, this is the plaque they gave us, one of the plaques. Very cool. So part of the circus album. Very cool. Yeah. But um it was it, it was a really cool experience. But I think after that you just dive deep. I think music is something I love though, so I don't think it's anything I'd ever stop. It's not even about the money. No, I understand. So, you know, obviously you can tell I like love to dissect. So essentially what they fly you out there and you meet with her, you meet with her people or what's that like? Yeah. You meet with their people first. Uh, maybe they'll tell you they have some changes that they want to make. Um, and then the artist recuts the record. And then after they recut the record, they send it to get remixed again. And then they send you the final mix. But with the superstar at that level, you don't really have too much to say. So you're just like, okay, cool. You know, you're trying to get your foot in the door. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, but a do you want to give a shout out to what song it was? Oh, Womanizer. What? Well, woman like a womanizer. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, I have to tell you, that is like, oh, my God, my top 10 fave. <laughs> Seriously. I was like loving that. Okay. So then that was, so now see with music in my like catalog of like what year it was. Okay. So I was down in Florida in college. So I guess that was what circa 09, 2010. Is yeah. that true? That sounds about right. I was going to say 11, but yeah, maybe it was 2010. Yeah. I think it was 2010. Cause I remember someone like playing it at a party, dude, just one of those yeah. memories, you know, where you're like, wait, and I had heard it like that. That was kind of her. That was her comeback album from all yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Supposed to be her comeback album for sure. Yeah. It was supposed to be woman. I kind of thought it was. No, <laughs> it was. But it's kind of like she started fizzling out after that too. You know. But well, it's weird too because I was like a Britney Spears fan as a kid. I was like, Yo, Britney Spears, what the hell? And so, yeah, what is it like to be in that arena? 
it's or does very, it all just happen so fast or it happens fast and it's weird because they're like celebrities are never who you thought you know who you perceive them to be like from the outside in like she was real reserved smoking chain smoking cigarettes and it's not what i thought you know what i'm saying totally I thought she would be bubbly and like, yo, what's up? Da, 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 what's up? But no, nah, it's none of that. She was like, any work. Interesting. Well, any, before we move on, any like thoughts or perceptions on, you know, 13 years later and what she was maybe going through and what's going on now or. Oh yeah. Like I, I get it. I mm -hmm. get it. I totally see it. Like just not being happy. She mm -hmm. has a lot going on. Just like we all do though. Mm -hmm. Totally. You know, there's, yeah, there's there's that being green again thing, you know, like we forget that we're all people, we all got stuff going on, you know. So Not I perfect. think Yeah. Yeah, so she definitely she was definitely dealing with stuff then. I'm pretty sure still dealing with those things, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I hear that. What up?